<laughs> oh, he's got his head down. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, no. oh, oh, that sounds sharky. Ah. Oh. Oh, we got a shark problem, Scott. Oh. And they say there's no sharks around. Presented by Yellowfin with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. There's a wedding on the beach pretty early in the morning. That was, that was real pretty. Little, little wedding under the palm tree in Key West. There's like four bums under the palm tree. They were getting married right next to it. <laughs> we're in Key West, man. <laughs> it's asleep. It's early in the morning, still asleep. Look at that flounder, man. Big old flounder. See him? Look at the trail he made. We can keep flounders. <laughs> Look at that trail. We just can't keep the snook. Yeah. You're like a mo motorcycle taking off right there, dude. <laughs> Look at a bird on the, my back engine. He's ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only Key West, baby. All right, I don't see anything, Scotty, so we're going to start heading left. Give me in tight, Scott. You want to film an episode of Cops while we're at it? Yeah. <laughs> All kinds of drama this morning. I know. Welcome to the Keys. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, man. Which Listen, way are we going? Why don't you go right to the Key West PD? Okay. Bad Straight boys, bad boys. Straighten them out. I like bait fishing a little bit further away from the police. Hard I, over. Hard I over. No, no reverse. No reverse. You got it. Hard over. All right, kill it. Let me get out and push, I will. No, I don't want you to do that. Just. <laughs> What's the distance of that? Hundreds of feet. And the concrete's the beach? You know that used to be a bow ramp? So after we almost got thrown in jail by the Key West PD for being too close to the beach. What you gonna do? <laughs> we, Cause you know, obviously we have to catch the bait. The bait is the same thing. Very important, very crucial. I wanted to get these big yellowtail and they're big. They're as big as they come. They're five pounders and there's a lot of them. Wanted to get them on top where you can see them popping. If we're gonna, have, if we're gonna do it, we wanna do it the most fun way and that's yeah. live bait. Yeah. You can catch them with chum balls, you can catch them with slop, you can catch a yellowtail hundreds of different ways. But for me and you, why bother unless we're doing it the most fun way and that's catch them on live bait. It's a visual thing. Yeah. And the vi you and I both love visual. Whether we're sail fishing, tuna fishing, yellowtailing, wa whatever it is, we want the visual. And that's what the live bait brings to you. Um, so we get out there, we throw the anchor, and there they were. I mean, it was instantaneous. Yep. I, I, big, I have to say, before I came back from dealing with the anchor, thanks. There was the biggest yellow brick road I've ever seen. Oh, God. oh! He just got woofed. That one you poked out he, right in the middle of him. A lot of those we can catch on top water plugs too. You know, once we get them really popping hard, they're eating those singles. All right, good deal. All right, they just wanted them wounded a little bit. Tito's right there too. <laughs> oh God! He, he made it 50 feet. He's still out there going. Look. Oh, I hear him. Oh, oh, triple Indy. Oh, he's still going. <laughs> he's giving him heck. He's still going for it. That guy's 
Somebody please help me. Yeah, eat me already. You want to get the mono ones ready? I'll do the braid. All right, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, and we'll be good to go. Two braid poles. And if they would let me use it in tournaments, they'd all be braid. But it's too expensive to take it on and off. Yeah, no <laughs> yeah everybody's got to agree with it. And I tell them, the, you know, the best thing you can do is just relax and wait, and let them feed, and let them get happy. As you probably see the same up, up the keys, the results are so much better if you let them feed a little bit before you start fishing them. You got to want it. They see this every day from uh, <laughs> Miami to Key West. Some guys come in with a couple, some guys come in with a cooler full. Yeah. It's just and, uh, chilling. And that's some, of the, that's some of the secrets right there. Just don't fish right away, and you'll have a lot, lot, lot better success. Well, that's just when you got to be a real personal guy and have good stories to tell. Baja fish tacos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Coming in. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Simrad, in the brilliant award-winning NSE multifunction display. By Mercury Marine. King Sailfish Mounts, for that once-in-a-lifetime catch. By Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. And by Steve Rogers Spear One Charters, Key West, Florida. Scott Walker's Tailwalker Charters, Duck Key, Florida. Under Armour and Plano. What I'm doing with this 15 is if you catch one, just cut it. Because if it gets afraid of a drop on those five pounders, okay. you're gonna, you know, he's gonna break you off on the next one. You know, there's a lot of big sharks here, and I know you've been asking about them. I really haven't been asking about big sharks, but <laughs> black grouper would be nice. <laughs> well, no, they're black grouper down there too. Oh yeah. <laughs> You just got to get through the shark. That's the worst. When the black creepers do start biting good, and the sharks get right on them. Yeah, I almost stop fishing for them. Yeah, you, you just you feel know, bad killing you them. You feel bad that you're just you're killing the fish. Oh, yeah. Looks good, Scotty. One good thing about rough days, man. All the fish are behind your boat. Because <laughs> you're the only one out here. That's right. We, got, we do have that advantage. You tell me when you want a bait, buddy. I'm going to give you the honor. They're on a bait ball now, they're ready. Bait the braid. Come Shark on. Shark will wear you out, buddy. Get on him. Uh. Broke your spirit? Yep. What were y'all using, 80 wide? We got rocked up with 30 pound. Very nice. <laughs> Did you go with the braid too? Yeah. It's a, I think it's a good call. Woo! Oh, pulled the hook. You know what I'm doing this tonight? Go cook him up, fry him up. Oh, yeah. No. Fish tacos. Fish taco, there you go. Oh, yeah. I'm under strict orders to bring some fish home. I'm gonna put a couple in the bucket, then move them up forwards after a while. Right. One in the bucket. One to go. Well, like you know the yellowtail, they're on the reef. They're on the deep reef, shallow reefs, patches. They're in the back country. They're on wrecks. They're the most prolific snapper in the Keys. Uh, they're beautiful for snorkeling or for fishing and catching and eating. Uh, to me, I couldn't have a charter business without them. They are the uh, most important part of every one of our trips. Um, anyone that doesn't make that a part of their day, then that's not someone you, I want to fish with. The starting point. I take clients out every day. Some of these guys have been here for 10 years, some of them first time. That starting point is how to get comfortable with a rod and reel, right. exactly. um, how to catch a fish that's not going to wear you out, how to get a lot of bites. So if you're not used to fishing, you know, you get a lot of opportunities. You don't want to put somebody on a fish that they're going to get one shot oh, yeah. and they're not prepared. So they're that, scared, they're nervous, yeah. they're not comfortable, they don't feel comfortable holding the rod yet. But after an hour yellowtailing, 
They, they know what a bale is. Yep. They know how to adjust the drag if need be. They know how to uh, cast. Cast? Yeah, they know how to cast. You know, they're used to cast, and they're watching the Orlando Wilsons and the Roland Martins cast and jerk and pull. And this is totally opposite. This is relax, open a bale, and check out the pace, the pace of the current that day. Pick a big piece of chum and watch it go and tell your customer, just keep following it with your fingers. And if you can make that bait presented just like the free floating chum, you're gonna start getting bite after bite after bite. One, two hours, and bait. you have totally had somebody catch more fish than they've caught in a lifetime sometimes. And it doesn't matter how old you are. Yeah. Even though uh, they might have caught their sails and their tunas, they're gonna come back with their kids or their grandkids or their friends. Hey, start them off on the old tip. Yeah. <laughs> come on. Come here. Turn him. Try it. Bonefish rod getting beat up a little bit. Getting beat up. Oh, yeah, the right one, dude. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's a beautiful fish, They man. call that a 12 pounder in Alamrata. Uh, nine pounds. Just saw the shark. Beautiful fish. We could switch to bigger poles, but why would we want to? What a great fish. You got one of them, too? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Just had to do a little. Oh, yes, sir. Take the base out of the water for a minute. Baja fish tacos. Oh, yeah. Coming in. Oh. Oh, we got a shark problem, Scott. Oh. And they say there's no sharks around. Being on the water 300 days a year is an absolute necessity to have a fishing reel I can count on day in and day out. The new Akuma Makara series is that reel. Besides looking great, its performance can't be outmatched by any other brand. With incredibly powerful drag capable of 55 pounds on the 20 series, it's strong enough to stop a 400 pound shark in his tracks and light enough for a sailfish to streak away 700 yards of line and not break very light leader. This one reel can handle tournament sail fishing in South Florida, jump on a plane and be trolling for white marlin in Venezuela the next day. And if a blue marlin jumps on, he's in big trouble too. The dual force drag system pulls instead of pushes. By pulling the drag against the spool, the reels can be made topless with less material, less weight, and incredible torque. Not that I would ever need 55 pounds of drag on a 20. It's still there when I need it. And I still always have absolute free spool. Another great feature that I love about this reel is the handle. It's easy to grab even if you're not looking at the reel. And if you end up in a long battle, you'll experience no fatigue. Sure does take long to get a bite, doesn't it? <laughs> That's not the problem, getting the bite. It's full on. What in the world is this? You got rocked up? On the bite? <sighs> <laughs> Come on, man. Shark! You know, there was a couple factors there that made that really, really tough. You know, number one, you got a big fish. Right. He didn't get big by being dumb. All right. It takes a really small hook and really light line. With the light line, if you put a lot of pressure, you're going to break them off. And we broke off hundreds of fish. <laughs> oh, he's got his head down! There you go. Oh, my this 15's holding up good. Yeah. Not yours, well, slugger. <laughs> not as well as yours, I tell you that. <sighs> oh, he just came up. Actually, the line held up. I've, I've been having more of a hook pull. Uh, no. oh, oh, that sounds sharky. Ah! It's a tug of war. I mean, how heavy are you going to go? Lots of well, bites. We're not going to get a bite. Or not enough bites. Yeah, you go too heavy, you won't get a bite. So we're fishing 15 pound line some 12, then we're dealing with the sharks. I mean, there is a dozen 300 pound sharks back there. Sharks get in all your favorite spots, but not, not like that. <laughs> and, and, and the most amazing thing. If he thing, pulls drag, he was getting chased immediately. That's all the shark wanted to eat. Oh yeah, I got a little angry towards the end of the day and I wanted to you know, get even with one. So let's start with the bonita. I'm not gonna give all these beautiful yellow tails. 
because it's too much trouble giving no, it everyone up. everyone I said, that's a good bait. And you're like, no, not that one, right in the cooler. I'm like, that's a good bait, not but that man. one. You want to drop this down for the shark bait or what? Look, no, I do not. Look how many pilchards are inside this bonita. One, two, three, four, five, All right, well, today, the next one is bait for you, buddy. I rigged up that rod. You're going to drop it down. Not that one. All right, <laughs> the next one. But then after uh, losing 15 or 20 to sharks, I kind of understood what you wanted. Yeah, and we, we had to put a live yellowtail on that rod. They weren't going to eat it. I mean, most sharks, you know, something bloody, something dead, they're going to eat it. They're, they're scavengers, not those fish. Those fish strictly eat yellowtail. They are trained, programmed to get up behind these commercial yellowtails no, and eat those fish that pull a little bit of drag. I told you, the next one was bait. We're just going to go right down to the bottom with him. Then maybe come up a couple cranks, OK? All right. Check your drag out. Make sure you like it. All right, here we go. You ready, buddy? Here we go. They probably come up as quick as the yellowtails come up. They come from everywhere and lay right on them and wait for that one that's wiggling. Just a little bit funny. What you got, son? Fish on. Turn that clicker off, Scotty. What you got? Saltwater fish. Coming, isn't he? Presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Isla Mirada, sport fishing capital of the world. By Okuma Fishing Tackle, there is no stopping Okuma. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. And Stay Bill, for everyday protection against the damaging effects of ethanol. Get him in. What a fish, man. It took us a while. We finally got uh, a bite. Mm -hmm. um, you fought that fish for a while. I'll tell you, I was expecting sharks moving at fast speed, 100, 150 pounds. Right, you wouldn't think a fish that big could move like that. But what we, what we caught uh, was not even registered that that was the animal we were at. Yeah, we say 300. It could have been 400. Those Good. fish are massive, massive sharks. They eat and eat and eat and it's eat. Still, and eat. It's still right here how round it was. I, there's no way I could have bear hugged that thing and come tight. His belly from the dorsal to pecs yeah. was insane. Yeah. The, the fish, once you had that fish on, you know, that's when my mind went click. Hey, I can catch us some yellowtail. So while you were fighting that fish, I think we had the best success. We? I, <laughs> you were busy, but you know what I mean? I landed, you know, half a dozen yellowtails like this because, you know, that shark's hooked up. All his buddies are with him still going, hey, what do you know? And that kind of took the focus off of the school of fish. And man, we really, you know, we, we capped the cooler off That's with those yellowtails. That's true. Woo. Holy moly. That is a fish, Scott. Woo. I'm very impressed, man, that you did that. <laughs> Not a lot of people want to pull on these things, as you know. Mm. I think it was the fact I told you I'd take you home, right? That's where the beer is and the margaritas. That's where the margaritas are? Sunset in Key West. Mallory Square. Man, this thing's like a small great white. Look at the size of that thing. Woo! You get on that leader, I'll get my wires, cutters. Well, yeah, but I'm not going to like right. Superman the leader. If he wants to go. OK, I'll, I'm backing I off. Mean, I will Superman it at some point, but. OK, we're all good. You tell me when you're comfortable. Look, look at this thing. Oh, he's going to bite the motor. Oh, goodness. All right. We're on a light drag. Oh, my goodness. Don't get wrapped up any. Jeez. That's over 300 pounds, dude. Uh, look at the belly on that. Oh. Oh. A small gray white looks like that. All right, I'll get the wires, cutters. Unbelievable fish, dude. 
Look How at can it. that thing chase a yellowtail down? Look at that thing. Woo! Woo! Holy moly. Can you see if he did a clap? Look at them teeth, man. That is amazing. Oh, that's awesome. That's a yellowtail eating machine right there. Yeah, it is. Come on, bring him over here. Look how wide he is. Right, look at that belly. Uh. Whoa. That'll leave a mark right there. Woo. All right, Steve. Thanks for that. Oh, he's looking me right in the eye. Oh, I'm hearing gel coat. <laughs> I'll cut him when you're ready. Baby. What do you think about those now? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> man. Oh. That was a fish, dude. My Good back job. is killing no, me. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed that you uh. did that, Scott. That's that's a heck of a feat right there. Not oh, a lot of people my... want to do that. I don't want to either. Whew. All right, I told you I'd take you home. Which way? We're going, dude. Still got to think... flay all those yellowtails. I know. Hopefully we taught that shark a lesson. We come back here, he'll uh, maybe let us catch a couple yellowtails. That'd be worth it then. Wow, rough yellow tailing, Key West.